My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? So someone wanted me to do a video on how to set up analog summing in Studio One. So that's what I'm going to show you. Uh, before I get into how to set up analog summing in Studio One, I want to first explain what analog summing is. And to do that, let me first talk about digital summing. So in Studio One, when you go to export mix down, you're taking all of your tracks in the session and they're being summed down to two tracks, a left and right stereo mix. Analog summing is when this happens outside of the computer in the analog domain. Uh, if you watch my video on audio converters, um, you know, I mentioned how everything inside the computer is digital and everything outside of the computer is analog. So uh, what I use for my analog summing is a dangerous uh, D-Box and uh, for my interface I have an Orion 32. And I have the Antelope uh, Peer 2 for A to D and D to A conversion. So the way the way this all works together is the first thing that you need, well, obviously the first thing you need for analog summing is an analog summing box. Uh, you also need a interface with multiple outputs. Uh, the D-Box does eight channels of summing, so you need at least, if you were, for example, to use the D-Box, you would need an interface with at least uh, eight outputs. So I'm going eight outputs out of the Orion into the eight inputs of the D-Box. And then I'm coming out of the D-Box, which would be my summed left and right, and I'm connecting those to the Peer 2 for the AD uh, conversion. So my signal flow is out of the Orion, into the D-Box, out of the D-Box, into the Peer 2. Uh, if I didn't have the Peer 2, I could still come back into the Orion, for example. Uh, so you wanna come multiple outputs out of your interface to two channels back into your interface. And we'll get into um, how to set that up in Studio One in, in just a second. But I just want to make sure everyone understands, you know, what analog summing is, what the signal flow is. Um, instead of, you know, for example, in Studio One going to export mix down, uh, what, what we would be doing is creating a new track and recording the mix back into Studio One through your interface. What this does is it uses the A to D conversion of your interface uh, versus the digital summing. So everything is being summed down to two tracks in the summing box. All right, so let's take a look at how we set this up in Studio One. Okay, so I've got Studio One uh, 3 Professional here. Uh, you can do this with Studio One Artists as well. So the way you're going to set up analog summing, remember I've got eight channels for my summing mixer. So I'm going to basically break my mix out into eight or four stereo pairs for eight channels. Outputs one and two would be my first stereo pair. Outputs three and four would be my second stereo pair. Outputs five and six would be my third, and output seven and eight would be my fourth. So this is a uh, session called Jimmy Neutron from an artist named J-Dog that I recently mixed. And you notice this track here that says mix. So I've created this audio track, and in the mixer, it's here. So I've got the input for this track is the Pier 2 and the output is the Pier 2. So when this track comes, or when the, the mix comes out of the Orion and goes into the D-Box, when it comes out of the D-Box and comes back in, it's coming back into this channel here, this track here. And you want to solo safe that and monitor it. So you're not using your main outs here on the far right. And as a matter of fact, I have those main outs not checked, they're disabled because I'm not using them at all. So I'm monitoring from this track and everything is being recorded back into this track. So with those four stereo pairs, the way I set mine up, and this is just my preference, you can set it up any way you want to. This is just how I choose to do it. So my first, this, this uh, orange section here is the drums. 
I have all of my drums going out of output one and two, which you can see labeled here. The uh, bass and music I have going through, th uh, or not through, but out of uh, three and four. And you see that labeled here. Vocals I do through five and six. And then any effects, uh, reverb, delay, I send that out of seven and eight. And I keep my session, that's how my session uh, goes. Drums, music, vocals, effects. So again, you can set it up uh, any way you want to. That's just how I choose uh, to do mine. Uh, let's actually switch back to the D box so you can see how those, uh, as I play this session, you can see how those uh, stems are broken out and come through on the D box. Okay, so I've, I've zoomed in on the uh, eight channels on the D box. So remember, one and two are the drums, three and four is the music, five and six is the vocals, and seven, eight are the effects. Uh, for this intro, I've got a little bit of delay going, so you'll see that represented in uh, seven and eight. Okay, so let's get back into uh, Studio One. Okay, so I'm back in Studio One. So once you take your outputs and you assign them the way you want to, you send whatever tracks to whatever uh, output stems you want to, once you have all that done, again, you want to create a audio track and you want to solo safe it and you want to turn on your monitoring, monitoring uh, input because you're going to be monitoring what's coming into this, uh, what's going to be coming into this track. So, and if you look at the session here, I've already recorded in a clean version that I did. And so when I hit play here, you'll see that, you'll see the, everything in the mix is going to be coming into this track. Yeah. 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 Okay. And as far as plugins, if you want to put plugins on your mix bus, you would put the plugins on this track. And their way, the, that way, uh, the mix will come into the track. It'll be processed by the plugins, and then be it'll be recorded. So when you're ready to uh, record the mix, and you're ready to uh, this would be called printing the mix. You'd be printing the mix on this track. We just enable record here, and you'll see it will be uh, recorded into Studio One. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's how you set up analog summing in Studio One. Um, the biggest thing to remember is to solo save that audio track as well as uh, turn on the input monitoring for it. Uh, you want to also you know, make sure that your output is where, you, where your, uh, the output of that audio track is what's going to go to your monitors or to your uh, D to A converter. Uh, in my case, I'm using the analog peer two, so that's what I'm monitoring from. Uh, this would what this allows you to do is monitor what's happening after uh, the plugins and after the summing and after the processing. Though, so if you were to, for my example, if I was to monitor from the Orion, I'm hearing what's coming out of the Orion, but I'm not hearing what's coming back in. Uh, you want to be able to monitor what's coming back in, and that's a huge 
bonus to having a D-Box because the D-Box has a D to A converter in it that you can use to monitor what's happening uh, after the summing. All right, but that's how you set up analog summing in Studio One. Any questions, let me know, uh, comment, and I'll catch you all next time.